It's been about two and a half years since I came to Riot City Wrestling. Um, I remember my first training session with Chris Basso actually at the end of class. He asked us as a group, what are your goals in pro wrestling? And me not knowing anybody, I obnoxiously put my hand up and I said, I want to be a main eventer. No, I'm going to be a main eventer. <laughs> I think everyone laughed a little bit, but here we are two and a half years later and I'm in the main event for the Grand Championship against Chris Basso. <laughs> Two and a half years is a long time. People can change. I know I changed. I went from an arrogant little man that only cared about himself to um, finding the uh, best friends I've ever had in my life and caring more about them than I do myself. And as for you, Chris Basso, you changed as well. You decided to get rid of all your friends and replace them with body cards that you, I don't think you really care about. You let things like jealousy and hate dictate your actions. I mean, you claim that you care about RCW, that you want what's best for Riot City Wrestling, but let's face it, the truth is, you only want what's best for yourself. Now, you may have been seeing around town, hashtag hard. Well, hashtag hard is me. It is my journey in pro wrestling. It's everyone's journey in pro wrestling. Pro wrestling is hard. It's hard on the body, and it's especially hard on the mind. Chris Basso, I believe you were once hard in fact, you were once one of the hardest wrestlers in South Australia. But not anymore. Cheating to win. Stealing keys. Manipulating people. Chris Basso, you've gone soft. So soft, in fact, that I believe you are overlooking me. And you're not focusing on me at all. Well, when guys like you overlook guys like me, that means you're not ready. And when guys like you aren't ready, it means guys like me are dangerous. Chris Basso, you find out just how dangerous I am. And you also find out that there is only one way. And that's the hard way. Alright, main event time here, Sean. Well, one form of stakes to an even higher stakes here. This is the Grand Wait. Championship. It is. Listen to this. What am I listening to? Hard. Someone is hard. Hard. Who's hard? Banjo Powers is hard. Thank he, God. Is, he is hashtag hard. Mighty Power no more, he is hashtag hard here tonight at Mega Slam. Our number one contender, Sean. Is this, is what, is this what's trending, hard? Hashtag hard, look the fans, they've got signs here, hashtag hard. There's a sea of hard in the audience here tonight. This is getting me hard right now, looking at Bantro Powers, who could potentially be grand champion tonight. And potentially get a measure of revenge on Chris Basso, a man who has had an absolutely violent run-in with Bandra Powers in the past, and you know he has not forgotten. That's right. Tonight is, is of the utmost importance to Bandra Powers because there is some revenge for, for last year, over a year ago now, the five Sega Mega Drivers in a row from Chris Basso to Bandra Powers. Again and again and again. And you know he has played that over and over and over. Now we await the arrival of our grand champion. Will he be alone? 
That is the question. That is always the question when it comes to the old god. The answer is yes. Shockingly, yes. Well, Chris Basso is still the grand champion. Of course, he had to have some assistance from Cutthroat against Matt Hayter, which resulted in a disqualification at our last event, heavy as the crown. Chris Basso still the champion. You know, we saw that pull part brawl between Matt Hayter and Chris Basso. And uh, you've got to think Matt Hayter is somewhere watching this tonight because on August 10th at the Riot City Rumble, he has a date with Chris Basso. Whether the title is around Basso's waist or not, it will be Hayter versus Basso with Grimm as a special guest referee. That's right, Grimm. Grimm has agreed. What is he saying? What is he I saying? I really don't know. You know, if you watch our last event, it went off the air with him babbling some nonsense about Dean Brady. Yes, and Matt Hayter has a stake in this match as well. Potentially has a title shot. Yeah. It, it's super fascinating, actually, because Matt Hayter, of course, good friends with Banjo Powers. They're the mega ego party powers when they're teaming together. But, you know, if Chris Basel retains tonight, Matt Hayter could get another shot at the grand title. Who is Matt Hayter rooting for? Oh, it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of Mega Slam. Yeah. <laughs> it is a single match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first to my right, he is the challenger, weighing 85 kilograms. He is hashtag hard. Two wits. He is the engineer. He is the Riot City Wrestling Grand Champion. World class, Chris Bastard. You heard it there. He is the engineer. So I really have to question: Is Chris Basso really going to go one on one with Banjo Powers? Just in simply a clean, good old fashioned wrestling match? Or, like always, is there a plan in place to ensure that the title stays around? Him? There, there is always a plan, Sean. There is always a plan when it comes to Chris Basso and the old guy. But Banjo Powers, he is hard tonight. Let's find out if his newfound lease on life is going to give him the grand championship. He's interesting, obviously, for Banjo Powers. He has had many friends in the past, chief of which we know. The party man himself, party guy Ty, as well as Violet Blitz. However, at least for the moment, we know that party power, uh, party guy Ty, sorry, is not here in Wright City, and Violet Blitz has a vendetta against the man. That's right. Bell sounds. We are underway with our main event here at Mega Slam Grand Championship on the line. The champion Chris Basso entering his 64th day as champion. This is his second title defense. Of course, Banjo Powers. This is his first main event singles match in his career in Riot City Wrestling. He is, he is fashioned himself into a battle royale expert, as it were. Mm. And now he's looking again to take from strength to strength, come away with the title. We're gonna see a clean break from Chris Basso. No, of course not. Uh, not. Of course not. Oh, but Banjo firing back. I was gonna say, I wonder what kind of kind of mental state Banjo Powers is coming into this match in. Locked up now by Chris Basso. Banjo Powers, Banjo muscling Basso into the corner. Got a five count. You mentioned here that this is Banjo's first time in the main event scene. It is a completely different mentality that you have to have in that main event spot. Something that Chris Basso has done time and time again. He knows what this is like. It's to be on the grand stage. So already that gives him an advantage over powers in terms of experience. Well, Chris Basso has the most championships of any competitor in Riot City Wrestling. He's the most decorated athlete. He has main evented more shows here than anyone else. He is a foundation of Riot City Wrestling. So, of course, the experience goes to him. But Banjo Powers, I think, has the heart. 
And he has the, the most desire to, to win this one, not just for himself, but for Matt Hayden, for, Be uh, for Party Guy Ty, and for Riot City Wrestling at large, I think. For Banjo Powers, it is all or nothing at this point. He's been all his eggs into the one basket. He's saying that I am here right now, Gunnell Guard, to make a change, to really stick it to the old guard. And honestly, you have to know there's a measure of revenge that he wants to take on the engineer. It is personal. It is personal. Chris Bassett could have could have not just ended Banjo Powers' career, he could have put him in a wheelchair, sure. You know now, I mean, you see here two bulls butting up against one another. You hear Basso, go ahead, try again. And just the mocking from Chris Basso, it's just, it's just disgusting how far this guy's fallen. And yeah, come on. Flip him off, Banjo. You know, he's looking for it. Ducking Banjo, picking up speed. That's hard. Takes the engineer off his feet. That's hashtag hard right there, Sean. Underestimating, that is what Basso is doing here tonight. He has underestimated Banjo Powers completely. Oh, of course he has. Banjo Powers has has come into this one as the firm underdog. But he is not not to be underestimated in my opinion. And he is not going to let up on the assault. We've got to be careful here. Oh, geez. The not champ again. coming over not again. to the table. I'm getting flashbacks from uh, Dean Brady and, uh, and Delta last week. Oh. oh my god, that was hard, that was rough! That is a firm chop, that is another firm chop. Say it with me, hashtag hard. That's, Good grief! That's soft, right to the bread basket. We are heading up into the crowd here. Oh! oh, oh, oh. House lights have come on, thankfully, we can see what's happening. Heading up into the audience here, we need to be careful. I mean, if there is a 10 count, still with players, there not? No, there is, but I think, I think the referee might be a bit more lenient after the count that we just saw, perhaps. We want to have a, a, a champion crown, I guess, fairly. Well, we've got a packed house here. These fans want to see a decision at the end of the night, I think. <laughs> what? Chris Baxter taking a moment with the fans by the looks of it. And again, it just thinks he's not taking the challenger seriously. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just can't understand why he would do this. Unless, like we say, he has a game plan. Banjo is heading in pursuit of the champion here. Back in the ring goes Chris Basso. Grand champion, but then straight back out. Straight That's back out, there we go. Well, he's gonna use that count to his advantage, of course. But it's also the mental mind games that he's playing, trying to get Banjo frustrated. Yeah, yeah, you see that he's pointing to his head, that means he's smart, sure. I didn't know that, thank you. <laughs> or Wait a minute! Or at least he thinks he's smart. Banjo catches Basso, now Banjo. To the outside, grabs the legs. Again, potentially going to the outside. No, he's going to keep him in the ring. Yeah, Banjo Powers, where he is comfortable. Looking for some offense here. He is on the outside, willing the crowd. And now he's on the inside. Nice splash. Looking over now, Banjo has a moment to capitalize here. He may be feeling it. There are children in the audience chanting hard as Banjo Powers cops one from Chris Basso. He gets the ropes. The engineer, oh, Casey Powers, Casey Dark, Casey Dia. Hold on, ducks. The line, Banjo Powers, up and over. Beautiful hurricane like runner, silk, like silk, exactly. Chris Basso was ensconced in silk there for a moment. Ensconced in silk, just the way George Costanza would like it. Now these are some hard, hard strikes. Hard, hard, rough. I'm not even counting anymore. No, that, was, that was a lot of hearts. Chris Basso seeing stars now, surely. The residents here are firmly behind Banjo Powers. Banjo Powers, as you can see, they keep on the attack here, giving Basso a little bit too much time to recover. And you know that the main event man, the engineer, is going to respond. Oh, there we go. Responding is Banjo Powers with a nice chop. And again, again, listen out. Chris Basso is literally on the ropes here. Hold on. Oh, ho, ho. That was a hard strike. The meaty chest of the cornerstone of Australian wrestling. Basso is being punished on the ropes here. The skin ripping off, surely. That reverberated around the Mayworth tent, that's for sure. Coming. Reversal by the engineer. Look at the height! And that is a hard landing, and Banjo clutching his knee. 
His right knee, did you see that, Sean? Banjo went higher than the top rope here. Yeah, that, that landing has definitely hurt Banjo Powers. The wonder now if Basso smells blood. Like a lawn dart right against the middle rope. Again, compressing that spine of Banjo Powers. You know, setting up for that Sega Mega Driver, look, perhaps. Look, he can't be 100% after that. I know it was almost a year ago, but seriously, he cannot ever be 100% after what Chris Basso did to him with those Sega Mega Drives. It's disgusting. It is those kind of matches and those kind of moments that shortened your career. How can it not? I mean, Banjo might be looking good now, but he has to be feeling, feeling sore, feeling the hurt. And now, Chris Hold Basso... On. Look out! Forearm right in the face, right across the temple. Breaking across the bridge of the nose and the temple of Banjo Powers here. Look at his face, he's out of it. Yeah, I was just looking at Banjo, he is dazed. There is that, that glazed look that sometimes comes over wrestlers' eyes there, Sean, when they're out of it. And Banjo, there's some fight in him, but he's got he's to think quick. Look at the switch now. Look at the extra boast of confidence that the engineer has. He feels he's firmly in control. Well, that's because he is. I mean, Banjo, though, blocking the Irish whip attempt, cross chops the throat. And just with one left hand, trying to hold it to the top rope. I don't think it's going to work now. Coming forward, up and over. The engineer hasn't scattered. However, flipping over. Yeah, nice. Hits in the takedown. Nice by Banjo. This is what he's got to do. He's the quicker of the two. He's got to land these strikes. Land those combinations. However, cool. Wait a minute. Roll up. Roll it through. Jeez. Two and three quarters, almost had a brand new grand champion. Yeah, I, I, I was reaching for the ring bell. Schoolboy attempt, two again. No, just the two, just the two. These pinfall covers are coming fast though. Forcing the champ to kick out again and again, exert more. Here we go, wait, 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 wait. Holy poison runner denied by Chris Basso. What in the world has he got set here? Oh, oh. wait, up onto his shoulders. What in the hell has the champ got? Spinnings, no. banjo around, no. power bomb, sit down, power bomb. Now, two and the... jeez. Wow. Banjo Powers managed to get the left shoulder up, but barely. Yeah, the fans here thought that was all over. That was the nearest near fall thus far. It's a surprisingly clean bout that I'm seeing here. A clean match by the engineer. Hey, we saw a clean bout earlier. No old guard interference in Dean Brady's match. Let's see what happens. I'm not about to say that they're turning over a new leaf, but it is, it is refreshing to see. It is, that's for sure. Banjo is looking to fight from underneath. Denied! The crowd did energize him for a moment, though. It's just not enough. It's the force of will. This is why he's the engineer, why he's the leader of the old guard. <laughs> just talking smack <laughs> to anyone who will listen. Again, Banjo. Trying to rally forth, well placed shots to the abdomen. He's just got to create that separation, Sean. Yeah. He's got to be able to weather this early storm. Keep going back. Going blow to blow with the champ. Yeah. Here we go. This is what he's got to do. These quick strikes. Very well placed right hands by Banjo Powers. Get a bit dusty. And that was reminding me a bit of Chris Basso himself. He used to do that routine. Now mocking Banjo like we've seen, like we've come to know from the engineer. Hold, Hold on. on, what's more? Tiaris round and around, and Chris Basso finds the ground. Bit of airtime there. Now you can hear the swell from the crowd. They feel it, they see it. We have a capacity crowd here. It is a cold night. Banjo is going to light it up, though. Hold no. On. no, no, oh, no. Mass driver by Chris Basso. At this point, May just be elementary. This could be all she wrote. No! Banjo Powers will not be denied. That was the mass driver. Shades of Kataros not enough to put away Banjo Powers. But Basso, he has a deep, deep, deep toolkit. That's it. It's not enough just to study the man through tape. The amount of moves that are in his arsenal, what he can pull out at the snap of a finger, you can't have one game plan for the engineer. And Banjo is favoring that, that left shoulder by the looks of it. Or he's favoring the knee, now the shoulder. That's what Chris Basso does. He picks you apart, breaks you down. He, he is just surgical. Hold on. Wait a second. Banjo onto his knees. He's not entirely able to about any sort of offense, really punished for it. Yeah, he is. Good call. Good call. Banjo is just 
There's some fight in him, but Chris Bassett is just making sure that fire gets us extinguished. Maybe only to just delay the inevitable. You've just annoyed the champion at this point. Yeah, and Banjo, you know, he's been fueling himself with the fans here tonight. Chris Bassett could have neutralized that, and now he's climbing to the top. Honestly, I think he's been fueling himself with the vitriol from the fans. However, I think you're right there, Sean. I think you're right. Oh, my God! Missed the moonsault. Banjo out of the way. Winded, bruised rib. Who knows? But this is the opportunity that Banjo Powers has been looking for, waiting for. Well, Chris Bassett famously broke those ribs a few years ago. It's got to still be tender for him. And really, if you are Banjo Powers, you need to see that and you need to exploit it. That's right. That's where being a, a bit of a historian comes in handy, Sean. Wait a minute. Andrew coming forth again. Matches Bassett. Now with some right hands. Here we go. Here we go. The crowd. You can hear them willing on the challenger. A nice Larry. I'm just noticing his left arm is just dangling there. It's got to be that mass driver before still favoring the shoulder but enough fight on the right hand side i was gonna say if you're basso you have to have clocked that as well coming forward oh ho, ho. shotgun drop kick keep and up he keeps up just like his his buddy matt hater and here we go again pulling that energy that passion from the crowd it is that intangible sean that's what feeds banjo powers that's what keeps him going it's what allows him to weather those those forearms. Oh no, go for mass driver go. again, I thought. Maybe not. Kick. And scattered looking for the poison runner! There oh, it is! Oh. There it is! The poison runner! Dropped on the top of his head! It's over! New champion! Stack New up. champ! No. no! Just the two. Every time Banjo Powers has gathered any sort of momentum, it has been cut off at the legs by Basso. But honestly, after you've been dumped on your head, how do you fight back? Yeah, that is a million dollar question there. Here we go. And now Banjo, he's feeling hard. He's thinking Ban Jito, but no, into that corner turnbuckle. Basso had it scouted. But then again, so does Powers. Powers rolls through. Basso catches the foot. Catches that boot. Just back and forth, back and forth. He, is he out on his feet? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Made in Coughlin. That is it. Made in One, Coughlin. Two. Wait, no. Just the two. That is a match ender. That is a match ender short. How did Banjo kick out? The story of the night. You can print it now. Banjo kicks out. Banjo kicks out. Absolutely. But there's just one move Chris Basso hasn't hit him with yet. And you know, I mean, say it and it shall appear. Yeah, we know what that is. But Banjo saves himself for the time being from the Sega Mega Drive. But Chris Basso has other ideas by the looks of it. It is interesting that Chris Basso is holding off from He hasn't even attempted the move yet. Yeah, that's right. Now, however, it might be more devious. Machinations are afoot here. As Banjo Powers is in a precarious position, Basso, what the hell is he looking for here? I'm noticing that glazed look again on the eyes of Banjo Powers. Oh my god. Chris Basso, what in the hell? What in the hell has the engineer conjured up in his mind? They are high up in the top road here at the Mayworth. Looking for a driver? Hold on, Wait Banjo! Minute. Banjo oh. gets the DDT! You want to talk about neck injuries? What the hell? I think the feeling is, is coming out of the arms of Chris Bassett. The strength is gone. His neck has just been compressed. Wait, Angus, the cover! The cover! Here two. we go, here we go! No. Just two again. Kick out after kick out after kick out. You are Banjo. What do you do at this point? What has to be going through your mind? How do you put away the champion? You are this close to tasting gold. This is an unbelievable matchup we are seeing here, Sean. Is he going, oh my, is he going for the Sega Mega Driver? Yeah, I think Banjo is looking to, going for it. I don't think he can get the grip though correctly. Chris Basso, oh, oh no. no. Michael Kent again, again feels the wrath of a professional wrestler. This is the second time in two weeks we've seen this. The man needs to head to the hospital. Wait, go to sleep. Done. Basso's out. Basso's out, but the ref's, the ref is out. Everyone's out. And Banjo knows it, but at this point, you just have to keep going. You have to. You have to inflict as much damage as you can until 
until Michael Kent comes through or Michael Anderson comes out. Wait a minute. Oh, that's that. What in the hell? That harpy. Violet Blitz. Violet Blitz, no! Not again. What in the hell is Blitz's problem? We barely mentioned her because we thought we would see a clean one-on-one -on -one match. Here comes Violet Blitz. I don't, under I don't understand the reason for this. There's no rhyme or reason for Blitz to be doing. Good God. That wench, Violet Blitz. Setting up a chair. Hold on, hold on. Angus, no! Oh, DDT right onto the chair. The steel chair. Supplanted in the middle of the ring. And Chris Basso is loving this one. Look at the glee on the face of the engineer. Did he orchestrate this? Nah, nah, he did not orchestrate this. This is just no. vitriol and out. anger and... Oh! Kick! Banjo kicks out! Violet Blitz. Even a DDT on the chair couldn't stop Banjo Powers. Violet Blitz is beside herself on the apron. That's just directing traffic out here. But looking for it once more. Sega Mega Driver, no. Banjo out of the way. Chris Buster off the apron. Chris and Violet hit heads. Here we go. Ben, oh, no. Bangino. Oh, no. Bangino. That is over. That is over, Banjo. He wants to solidify the three count. This is hard. Banjo is wrestling the match of his life right now. Come on, guys. Come on, Banjo. Chris Basso is unmoving. He is out. He is down. Banjo splash! Here we go, new champion. Banjo can make the cover. We have a new champion. Get that bell ready. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. No. The engineer. The leader of the old guard just got the show up, pushing Banjo, denying him the grand championship. I, I thought we were going to see a new champion right then, Sean. So did Banjo. Oh my god. My, my heart is in my chest. I cannot imagine how Banjo is feeling right now. Somehow, he is still holding on to the crowd, holding on to the dream, the moment. That's right. Don't let go of the dream, Banjo. This is your time. This is your time to silence the critics, to become the grand champion. It only takes three seconds. It only takes the one moment. GTS again. No. And Chris, he's, he's, got his, he's got his face. Yeah, rake in the eyes. Coming through. How much more can either of these men take at this point? Wait, no. This is an unreal matchup we are seeing right now. No, Banjo lands on his feet. Chris ducks the lariat. Banjo with the high, high knee. knee. Hold oh, no. on. Oh, no, no, He's no. got a court. Good. Oh, what in the hell is it? Oh, Jesus. What is this? Styles Clash. We have never seen Chris Where Basso. Where has he used that? He has, ever? he has never pulled out the Styles Clash, but we've seen this. The Sega. Oh, the no, my God. What a super Sega Mega Driver. That's Two, it, that's three. it. Unbelievable. Well, ladies and gentlemen, get your short list for match of the year ready because that was an unbelievable contest. I do not know how Banjo Powers is meant to come out of the ring of his own religion. That was the most damnedest thing that I've ever saw. So that was my first Dry City Wrestling main event. Yeah, it didn't go the way I wanted. But I went out there and I spread the message of hashtag hard and the people got it. And that's what you want when you're a pro wrestler the people to understand you. Yeah, I didn't get the win, but I did get something else. That's for Chris Basso. Yeah, he's a massive knob, but he's the grand champion for a reason. And then there's Violet Blitz. I told you not to push me. I told you to stop. And now you have crossed the line. So now I'm coming for you. Well, if tonight's showed us anything, it's that Banjo Powers is hard. But not hard enough. Banjo, well done. 
but better luck next time. Now, on to more important things. Hey, on August 10, we do this dance again. Now, it's always been personal, but now you're bringing my brother into this? I don't know what you're trying to do. That's my own flesh and blood. Hey, Dad, I'm going to beat you so bad that Mama Hater is going to be sitting next to you in a hospital bed after the show. And then you've really got to see what happens when you involve someone else's family.